Уважаемые дамы и господа, добрый вечер и добро пожаловать в Алматы-Арена, Казахстан, где промоутерская компания FSK Promotion с гордостью представляет вам главное событие вечера. Десятираундовый поединок за титул чемпиона мира IBO и WB Silver в первом легком весе! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner from Tokyo, Chamila Gontario. So here we go, Jamila Gontaruk from Belgium. 25 years old, her professional record, 13 wins. Two of them came by the way of knockout. Four losses, just one knockout and one draw. She was born in Belgium, in Charleroi. Her professional career started in 2012 and she won six uh, fights in a row and after that she faced Eva Wallstrom as I have already said it was an EBU female super featherweight title and she lost due to a unanimous decision. She also fought for the vacant title EBU featherweight title against Stefania Ducastel and she lost on points but after that she had a rematch with Stefani Ducastel and she won it and she became EBU the male featherweight champion and uh, in 2017 she fought against Ramona Cuena for the WBO world super featherweight title and she lost due to a unanimous decision and now she gets another chance to get the world belt Господа, в красный угол поднимется спортсменка из Казахстана. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner from Kazakhstan. Firuza Sharipova! And now Firuza Sharipova, the main event of the evening, 33 years old. Firuza Sharipova had a beautiful amateur career, she is the Asian champion, Kazakhstan champion. She used to take part in the World Championships and now she became a professional. Uh, by the way, she lost her debut fight to the Olympic runner-up Sofia Achigawa due to a unanimous decision, but after that there were several wins in a row and uh, she used to face Milena Koleva and it was vacant. Women's International Boxing Association World Lightweight title. And now, Firuza Sharipova is fighting in uh, the new weight, the featherweight. And uh, I remind you that it will be a fight for vacant International Boxing Organization World Championship and vacant WBC Silver Super Featherweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, your officials, Supervisor IBO from Belgium, Verbeke Philippe, 
Supervisor of WBC from Russia, Marina Milovanova. Your judges at ringside scoring this championship belt. From Montenegro, Predorak Alexic. From Ukraine, Alona Pavlova. And from Russia, Alexander Kalinkin. Your timekeeper, Darkhan Ashirov. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge from Belgium, Daniel van der Ville. Итак, дамы и господа, на трибунах миллионы фанатов бокса во всем мире. Ladies and gentlemen and attendants, and the millions boxing fans around the world, live from Almaty Arena, Kazakhstan, the main ball of the evening! If you're first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green, with black, black and white. She is 25 years old. She stands 157 centimeters tall, official weight 58.55 kilos. Her professional record consisting of 18 bouts, 13 victories, including two wins coming by way of knockout, four defeats, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, she's European Boxing Union champion. Fighting on Petio, please welcome Shaila Pinkford Contadio! <laughs> and her opponent fighting out of the red car, wearing white with gold, silver gold. She is 23 years old, she stands 166 centimeters tall, official weight 58.75 kilos. Professional record, eight bouts, seven victories, including four wins coming by way of knockout, and only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, she's WIBA in WPU, lightweight champion of the world, fighting out on Almaty, Kazakhstan. Please welcome Firuza Sharifova. Well, the other people actually should leave the ring in order the fight to be started. Firuza Sharipova versus Jamila Gantaryuk. The Belgium versus Kazakhstan. And if Firuza Sharipova is going to win today, it will be a Kazakh record because it will be the first time in Kazakhstan boxing history when uh, the boxer receives world titles in two different categories and uh, I remind you that Firuza Sharipova is an IBA world lightweight champion and uh, now she can win this WC silver championship and IBO championship and the winner of this bout will face the champion the WBC champion Eva Wallström from Finland So here we go. We see that Firuza Sharipova has a height advantage over Jamila Gantaruk. <laughs> Firuza Sharipova was a very skilled amateur. With good school, good techniques. Nice combination by Firuza Sharipova. Several punches landed. And you hear the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Jamila Gantaruk, of course, steps forward. She goes forward. She needs to shorten the distance in order to get Firuza Sharipova. 
but Firuza so far is showing good footwork. She's not allowing to lock her beside the ropes or in the corner. But nevertheless, Firuza Sharipova's corner tells her to step forward, to take the center of the ring. Sharipova doesn't listen to the command. Good work from the distance by Firuza Sharipova. Nice, very nice. Ten seconds to go in the first round. The tempo is pretty high. Well, Nice job. By the way, Firuza Sharipova in the 2017 was declared as one of the most beautiful sportsmen in the world. And one of the most beautiful female boxer. Speaking about the amateur career of Firuza Sharipova, we can uh, say that she was a bronze medalist on the Asian Championship. Before becoming a boxer, Firuza Sharipova used to do biking and water polo. And uh, when she was 11 years old, Firuza Sharipova decided to go to box. Firuza Sharipova is a multiple Kazakhstan champion Round two. Nice work, very nice work by Firuza Sharipova. By the way, it's really hard to knock Jamila Gontaruk down or to knock her out because she has some losses. But still, she's very tough, she's very brave, she always comes forward, never mentioning the shots. So far, Jamila Gontaruk just can't get closer to Firuza Sharipova. It's very hard for her. But she's trying, she's throwing punches, but none of them landed so far. Happily for Firuza Sharipova, her supporters and her team. Good connection from the right by Firuza Sharipova. And nice footwork. Nice defense. Well, the tempo is pretty high and uh, we all do hope that Firuza Sharipova um, is well prepared for this fight. There. Oh, very good, very good. And we saw that Jan uh, Jamila Guntaru got a little bit stunned. And once again, beautiful overhand from Firuza Sharipova. This is it. So far we see a great, a big, I would like to say a huge advantage from Firuza Sharipova over her opponent from Belgium. Let's see it once again. Well, it was a dangerous left hook from Gontaruk. And we all remember that the nickname of Jamila Gontaruk is Pitbull. Well, actually, it is so. She always comes forward. 
He wants to tear the opponent into small pieces, but so far it's pretty hard to do. Round number three. Round three. <laughs> nice work from the distance again by Firuza Sharipova. A combination with accurate punches from the right. And what I like most in Firuza Sharipova's actions that in her, in her tactics that she's forcing her opponent to miss. She doesn't uh, let her opponent to hit herself. That's pretty important. And we all do know that when the boxer misses the shots and when he's taking the shots, that influences the cardio badly. The referee warns Firuza Sharipova for illegal hitting. Nice connection from the right. Beautiful right hook by Firuza Sharipova. But we see that Jamila Gantaruk still eats many punches, but nevertheless, it never stops her. She's still coming forward, but not now. This is the third round, but Jamila Gantaruk is getting tired. But there are many reasons for that. And those reasons that I have just announced to you, ladies and gentlemen, taking shots and missing the shots. Good, good stoppage by Firuza Sharipova. I'm not talking about the stoppage of the referee, but still, she was able to stop Jamila Gunturuk, who was stepping forward, who was trying to attack. End of the another round. Uh, on my scorecard, the score is 10, uh, I'm sorry, 30 to 27. Of course. I don't think that uh, there can be other variants. And so far, Hiruza Sharipova is leading the fight. She has confidence. You heard that? Was a strict warning from the referee because sometimes Rosa Sharipova hits her opponent after the command and the referee has just told to her, no sorry, just listen to my commands, otherwise I will take a point of you. Once again, nice counter. A small step back by Firuza Sharipova and three punches in a row. And all of them landed. Good exchange. Well, actually. I'm not the great fan of the female fights, uh, if it is MMA, boxing or kickboxing, but sometimes the girls show a very high level of boxing, but as for me, it is a very rare thing. And uh, we can say about Teresa that uh, she's a skilled fighter. She knows what to do, she knows how to do it. and she makes it real. Nice, excellent. Beautiful right hand by Firuza Sharipova. And I think that Jamila Gunturuk just doesn't know what to do. Um, I'm not saying that she's desperate, no. But, whoa, that was pretty dangerous. Left hook from Jamila Gunturuk, but an excellent response by Firuza Sharipova. Several punches and clinching. Inside. 25 seconds to go in the fourth round. Ooh, double right, triple right hand. The 
girls are starting to get exhausted. And you see that Firuza Sharipova is throwing power punches. She wants a knockout or maybe a knockdown, but it's really hard to do it because, well, I'm not sure if I will be correct if I'm going to say that uh, Jamila Gantaruk has a strong chin. I've got no doubts about the fact that Hiruza Sharipova has got all four rounds under her belt. And I think that we're going to hear the score because this is the WBC Silver. And uh, we all know that in this version the score is announced after every four rounds. So I'm eager. I'm very curious to hear the score. Round, five. Round number five. I do really like also the footwork of Hiruza Sharipova because after her attacks. She's not standing in front of her opponent. Okay, let's hear the scores. George A, 42-36. George B, 42-35. George C, 42-36. All in favor of Red Color. Well, that was obvious, actually. Nice double again by Firuza Sharipova. Right hook. Jamila Gantaruk, as a true pitbull, is trying to get closer, is trying to bite her opponent, maybe. To hurt her, but it's really hard to make. Look at this footwork. Firuza Sharipova is shooting from the distance. And by the way, Firuza Sharipova is a very disciplined fighter because uh, we all hear what her coach is saying and she immediately does it, makes it. Because Firuza Sharipova's coach told to start from the body and then to throw a left hook and so she did it immediately. By the way, Jamila Gantaruk and Clinch sometimes is holding her opponent's hands instead of working. And I wonder why, because she's a bit shorter. Oh, nice connection by Firuza Sharipova. And once again, a repeated attack. Excellent round for Firuza Sharipova. Another round under her belt. So far, Firuza Sharipova doesn't give her opponent any a slight chance of winning this fight. And actually, I don't see any variance for Camila Gantaruk to change things here. Well, there are some variants actually. And one of them, if Firuza Sharipova will be a truly exhausted. And only in, after that condition, uh, if Firuza Sharipova will slow down, will stand in front of Jamila Gantaruk, only on that condition, the Belgian boxer will have her chances to stop Firuza Sharipova. But so far we see that the cardio is okay. Speaking about Firuza Sharipova, the sixth round. Nice jab, very nice jab, and a good footwork again with side steps. Hey! 
So Reaper was coach tells her to change the levels of her attack, to shoot the body and after that hit the head. Excellent moves, excellent defense. Forty seconds to go in the sixth round. No, too slow. Too slow for Jamila Gantarit. And once again, huge connection by Feruza Sharipova, but a very strong chin is shown by Jamila Gantaruk. She ate so many punches. Yes, she's ready to exchange. She is definitely ready to trade punches. But now was, but this is not the plan of Feruza Sharipova, I hope. The referee warns Feruza Sharipova not to push her opponent. Beautiful ring girls once again. Thanks for the cameraman. You're good. You're good. You're doing everything correct. The coach says. Boom. Oh, I wonder how. How did Jamila Gantaruk was able to stand after such shots. Why didn't she fall down? Well, a very tough fighter. I remind you that she used to face Eva Wallstrom, the reigning defending champion, WBC champion. And I think that Firuza Sharipova is going to win this fight and after that she's going to face the boxer from the Finland and this will be a true test for her. Nice combinations again and brilliant footwork from Firuza Sharipova. Not leaving a slight chance for Jamila Gontaruk in this bout. I don't think that Firuza will be able to knock her opponent out, but still. Firuza Sharipova's corner tells her to use uppercuts. And uh, this is a great advice. Why? Because during the whole seven rounds, I've never seen a single uppercut from Firuza Sharipova. Good body shot from Kazakhstan, boxer. And Jamila Gontaruk is getting tired. She's getting slower. And of course, The main reason of that are the punches that she received and the punches to the body and to the head. 20 seconds to go in the seventh round. Rosa Sharipova is using her shoulder to push her opponent off on the distance. Good! <laughs> Very nice ending of the round. And the accurate double by Firuza Sharipova. Come on. 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 Come on.
Well, I have to admit that, uh, once again, I have to admit that uh, Jamila Gantaruk is not desperate. She's just trying to do what she always does. To come closer and to shoot, to destroy. And Firuza Sharipova realizes that and she never allowed it. A tremendous work from the distance. Nice footwork, beautiful combinations, and beautiful Firuza Sharipova. Nice, very nice hit to the body from Kazakhstan boxer. And once again, Firuza Sharipova doesn't let her opponent to lock her beside the ropes or in the corner. You hear the crowd, you hear the supporters, they shout Firuza, Firuza, in a favor of Firuza Sharipova, of course. People love her in Kazakhstan. She's a national hero, so to say. Not, of course, like Gennady Golovkin, but something like that. Because Gennady Golovkin a true Kazakhstan legend, brutal puncher, who destroyed practically all opponents that dared to step inside in front of him into the ring, except Daniel Jacobs and uh, Canelo Alvarez. And we are about to see what will happen in the next championship bout when Firuza Sharipova, the WBC silver champion, and she will be become the champion, no doubt about that, according to the fight that we're seeing here. And I'm looking forward for, to her fight against Eva Wallström from Finland. <laughs> tells her that you see everything, you're doing everything properly, you're doing everything right, so don't worry, just continue, do the same, and you will get the win. Well, that was obvious, actually. A total domination of Firuza Sharipova according to the scorecards. Well, that was obvious, you know. So far, Jamila Gunteruk didn't receive a slight, a small chance in this fight. Because, as I have already said, Firuza Sharipova is a very disciplined fighter. And she does everything to get the win without any brevades, without being cocky. Just boxing, just discipline, just working from the distance. Changing the angles. 
counter punches. And would like to mention that right hook in counter attack while Jamila Gunturuk is throwing deep right hook, uh, deep left hook, I'm sorry. And uh, Rosa Sharipova was always ready for that. She was always ready to throw the counter attack. Once again, look at this footwork, look at this movement, look at this body move, look at this head move. Sharipova asked if it will be the last round of the fight. that Jamila Gontaruk understands everything. Well, I think that she started to understand it maybe in the round number four or five that there is no chance. Nice connection from the right by Firuza Sharipova. Good punches, solid combination from the Kazakhstan fighter. Jamila Gontaruk is showing that it was a head clash. Or maybe it was a headbutt from Firuza Sharipova. But I think that she's able to continue. Firuza's coach tells her not to let the opponent inside into the infighting. It's work the same. Throw combinations and to move and move. And once again, Gontaruk is showing that it was a headbutt. <laughs> nice counter again from Kiruza Sharipova. Uppercut, yes! That uppercut, that was, uh, that was, that was asked actually by Firuza's coach. I think that the fight against the champion Eva Wolstrom from Finland will be much more harder for Firuza Sharipova. Well, I'm definitely sure about that. 10 seconds to go. This is it. And Firuza Sharipova becomes the new WBC Silver Featherweight Champion of the World. Yeah, we all do understand everything. Ruzas Sharipova will be declared as the winner of the fight and of course will be declared as the champion. And now she will receive two championship belts, WBC Silver and IBO. Of course, Jamila Gantaruk is pretty disappointed with, the, with her performance, but no wonder she couldn't do anything in this fight. Just anything. So touching, very emotional celebration by Firuza Sharipova. And we'll see what is going to happen next when she will be officially announced as the champion.
Ruza Sharipova's team has started celebrating already. Well, uh, they all have rights for that because it was a brilliant performance by Ruza Sharipova. Excellent work from the distance, good counter punches. So let's hear it from Alexander Zagorski, but firstly they had to cut off the tapes. Legend of uh, national Kazakh wrestling style, Kazakh Korosei, Baby Tstibayev, three time champion of the Kazakh Korosei tournament, Kazakh Borisi. He's a true legend in Kazakhstan. Fighters to the center. And now let's hear the announcement. Итак, Джордж Алексеевич, 100 to 89, 189. И Энд Джордж Калинкин и are in agreement, scoring the same, 100 to 90. И Калинкин и Побывайло одинаково оценили бой 190. Ladies and gentlemen, all in favor of the winner by unanimous decision, and do IBO and WBC Silver Female Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Firuza Sharipova. Well, that's emotional. That's pretty emotional. And we do congratulate Firuza Sharipova with this success. And of course now we're still waiting for for the bout against Eva Wallstrom from Finland, the WBC world champion. Zasha Ripua will make some defenses and after that she will face Emma Wallstrom. By the way, Emma Wallstrom is still undefeated. Her professional record is 21 wins. Three of them came by the way of knockout and just one draw with no losses. And, uh, Eva Wallstrom already had three successful defenses. And, uh, but, by the way, I would like to remind you that 21 win with just three knockouts. So, I think that Firuza Shrikova will have a good chance to receive the championship belt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for now. Bye-bye.